Week 24 of the Belgian Pro League with three huge games beating together the current top six. Leader Zuni Sanji was go to last season's runners up, sixth place racing Genk. It's fifth against third as champions Royal Antwerp host Club Bruges and Anderlecht in second welcome Ghent in fourth. It's getting tight to the bottom two or WDM standard, Courtright Charlois, Westlow Love and an open Mechelen all have an impact on the relegation fight with Circle and St. Trodens meeting all about the push for the title playoffs. But we start with a big summit meeting at the Segeka. We usually get a good game between these two. Why would tonight be an exception? Two draws and a defeat for them. Here's Painsel. Cut down well by Ross Sykes. Here comes Bonsupa. Good break, went for it. Angle was tight, and he had a couple of men alongside him in the middle. It's well reclaimed again by Kevin McAllister. Chance for Castro Montes to get a deep cross in. They've all missed it. Perfect for Loic Lapuzan. Nielsen waiting in the middle. And Nielsen's up there, but McKenzie was there first. Union can be lethal in that situation. And Mark McKenzie anticipated that so well, the US international. It's Puertas over the free kick. Went in the direct route, there to be attacked! And almost scored! Brilliant ball in, and more at the end of it. Good opening there suddenly, and Puertas was in, and Van der Verde saved it. Pencil foul, free kick, Genk. Finally, an attempt on target for Union. Back in by Vanauta. Now, Castro Montes. It's Lapuzan. Went for it, Lapuzan. This is no Siddiqui making a great break forward to Siddiqui. He's done brilliantly! It's played away in front of the line. I think by Elawadi. And Geng survive a brilliant burst by Noah Siddiqui. <laughs> Sent in by Puerta, looking for the flick on and he's got it! Mohamed Amora does it again! Nobody has scored more goals in the Pro League than him! Brilliantly done, and Puertas teeing it up. It's Amora. Plenty of support, Nielsen's there as well. He wasn't the only one. Noah Siddiqui, so close. Great opening for Uni Sanchez. Good ball, Painsel's got room and lots of it. It's Joseph Painsel! Just past the post. That was the moment to tie it up. Great control, it's Kenan Kuba! Hits over the top. But Union have come to Genk and they have pulled off a massive, massive result. 
It's not a weekend to decide the title, but with the top six all facing off, it's certainly going a long way towards seeing who won't be challenging. The champions trying to kickstart their challenge, but just can't get into the unbeaten rhythm of the top three and today's opponents. In by De Kuiper, good header, brilliant save. UK trying to chip forward, Altovarel deflected! And Midiolet caught out, he wasn't going to reach it. Hits a corner for Antwerp. It's deflected all the way through and off the line by Janssen again. That's the second time he's done it. Janssen back to cover. Did a good job of it too, now here goes George, and he has the pace, George Ilinikena! Great chance! And the fact that he still got the shot away. A lot of credit to him. Went the long route with it, and it was met by Meyer. He's picked up some great chances today. And in recent games. Almost a worldie here! De Kuiper scores! And Club Bruges in front! Breakthrough eight minutes after the restart! They suddenly put the foot on the accelerator! Ecklenkamp did well, but it's straight to Mignolet. Something a bit more hung. Covered by Owen Weindahl. Oh, that's heavy! Oh, good heavens, Boutet was right out of goal. He has escaped majorly. The stop by Alderweire, Nielsen couldn't find a way through. Right down the middle, now the chance for Muir to break away, play allowed to carry on. Here comes Mahamadou Dumbia. He's got George alongside Dumbia! He has no fear! Superb burst forward by the 19-year-old Boyata trying to balk him and he couldn't. Eklund count onwards, Janssen very deep. Here's Kobe Kobane. Went for a Kobane! Magnificent! And an Antwerp these days, the kids are all right! They're more than all right! Arthur Vermeeren, who's just left, turns 19 on Wednesday. Thiago won't reach it, Nielsen did! Scuffed away suddenly by Weindahl, big chance! Muya bringing it forward, trying to catch Club out. And George has fouled, a free kick! Andreka went for it! Oh, I say, what a goal! The impossible! It is happening all over again! Three games in a row, it's the latest goal of the season! And Antwerp have won it! Their title challenge is on! Level on points with Club Bruges!
The one thing Anderlecht will be doing loads of is scoring goals. If not winning games, they've scored in all but their first league outing this season. One one draw between these two earlier in the season. Low effort, good try, Vizcarin on target. It's opened up for Tissudale. Very unselfish. Brown. He's got a lot to aim for in the middle. Some walls won it in the air. Here's Julian Desart. And here's creativity too. It's bounced off Vasquez. It's claimed by Schmidt. To Sadale! Now it's open. Talking as that. Bit of room in front of goal, and he went for it! Dry a good layoff, too strong for Louis Patry. Strike in, penalty! Penalty for Anderlecht before half time. No hesitation from Nicola Laforge. Anders Dreyer. Anderlecht in front. Schmidt almost saved it. Right down the middle. 16 goals for Anders Dreyer this season, 14 in the league. And only the triumvirate. Short by Tissadali, who's come deep again. Good combination with Yokota, and it's Yokota again. Still going, Daisuke Yokota! So close! Yari Vascarin, plenty of support. Vasquez had drifted into an offside position. Vascarin, brilliantly done, Dreyer, Vasquez must be! It isn't, Ghent got enough back. And Ghent hang on. Chance for it to be launched up by Gherkins, tried to get to Sadali away. Back in, great chance, brilliant save, Schmeichel. Gandelman popping up outside the area and almost equalising for the third time this week for Ghent. Deep corner flicked across. Desano, what a goal! Four minutes to go! Desart is Damon! On the mark! What a strike! 1-1! One, one. And Ghent is set to keep that unbeaten run against Anderlecht going. <laughs> Great one launched long. And Anderlecht get the win. They hold on for the 1-0. Their first victory of the calendar year at the fifth attempt. Get no wins in five. Well, WDM in 15th have lost five in a row going into this, but for the second time this season, we're edged out in the Swansea derby by Union by the odd goal in five. A win over 12th place standard Liège would see the Brussels club climb out of the relegation zone and drop the 10 times champions into the bottom four with six games of the regular season to go. Standard in the white today and a large shoveling support for them on the near side. Kanga controlling well. He skipped in well past Souza. Continue the run as well. Kanga, he's in here. Good goal. Standard Liège ahead after nine minutes in a game they must win, or at least they must not lose. 
very well taken by Wilfried Kanga. He just beat Souza there and then a big foot race between him and the Irish defender Adaramola. Got past, good goal, slipped home. Got in between the two defenders and low, past the Forney. Standard Liege ahead in a key game. Played forward well by Sambu. Carlos Alberto was excellent midweek against Union. Cross was good. It's come all the way through. What a finish. Mikael Biron to tie it up for our WDM. A big survival game deep in the season. And after losing five in a row, or WDM tied up against their relegation rivals. Came all the way across and thing had just flicked off the head of Isaac Price. And Biron, first time finish. And what a finish. Superb cross by Sambu and the goal, brilliant. Boda beaten. Or WDM, very keen now. Deep cross by Adaramola, who came from Crystal Palace. And the snapshot deflected, and it's almost gone in from Mercier. Massive deflection, Boda committed. And had that been on target, the standard keeper could have done nothing. 1-1 one, one at half time. Much for even Leco de Ponde, still without a win as standard boss. It has been a rocking atmosphere all afternoon at the Edmund Mocktons in Molenbeek. Just bounced past Aramola this time. Well taken by Fossey. Good ball. Kanga tight angle. That's a good stop by De Forney. Who wasn't caught out, anticipated it well. Fossey angling it right. Taken up well by Isaac Price. That's a brilliant ball. And Kanga's in. Great chance. Brilliant finish. Standing ahead. Whistle's gone. Flag up. Tight, but he was offside. This has been one of their better games in recent weeks. They'll be very confident after scoring twice against Dunio. Biron. Decent ball, Mercier laying it up. Carlos Alberto denied by Boda. A very, very effective save. It's high in the clean sheets charts. That's what's keeping Standard afloat right now. Mercier, nice release, and Carlos Alberto, so impressive. Good save. Pushing on again in the final 10 minutes. It's a quality ball. Big chance. It's opened up so well. Low strike and it's in. Camera. 2 on. Ilay Camera puts all WDM in front and it's a scoreline that for now would have standard Liège in the bottom four. It crept in low past Boda. Camera cutting inside. Or WDM lead in a big relegation clash. It's Camera. Brought on well by Gilles de Waal. Made lots of changes here. They lost Alzate through injury early on. But they're still fighting and having fallen behind, how do they respond? Good ball in the middle. De Waal! And it's in by Calvin Yabar, who's just come on. Just signed from Genoa. His first touch in Belgian football. And he's equalised for Standard Liège. Barely 90 seconds after falling behind. De Waal went for it. And Kelvin Yaboa touches it home. Honours even between two struggling sides after five league defeats in a row. A point finally for our WDM. Standard avoid dropping into the relegation zone. Going a point clear of where all their rivals can end up. But next week it's Lerven or WDM2. Standard Liège 2. Core Tricker enjoying their best run of the season. Their thrilling 3 3 draw Tuesday night at Club Rouge means they're three unbeaten under new Icelandic coach, the popular Freire Alexanderson. That after never winning away to Club Rouge in their history. 
Charlois in 11th have had recent wins over Mecklen and Eupen to keep the wolf from the door, but they have had occasional dips into the bottom four. This is the sort of game where they need to pick up points though, and Kortrijk will say exactly the same thing. Charlois attacking early, decent ball for Silla. Gannon got the winner the other night, good try. Straight to Pirat. Deep corner came from Kadri in the head of Isasako just wide. Kortrijk's best chance, just shy of the half hour mark from Sasako. Right up in the air by Patron. Clean sheet so far. Kortrijk building. Kadri. Lovely ball inside. Isaac Davis does it again. Kortrijk's leading scorer with his fifth of the season. He scored big goals this campaign, including against Club Bruges. And they're looking good here. They lead right on half time. The Welshman strikes again. And Kortrijk leads Charlois by a goal to nil. Charlois board looking despondent. Slice forward by Dragsnes. Good ball in the area. And poked wide. Ben Buali, Charlois's best chance of the second half. Comes with 17 to go. It's a decent launch forward. It might come all the way through, and it has done. What a chance that was. Ben Buali across. Kortrijk pinned back quite a bit. Eamon setting it up. 1 0 Kortrijk. The Carroll's revival shows no signs of stopping. Four unbeaten under Freire Alexanderson now. Two wins and two draws. They're still bottom, but they are properly fighting for survival. For Felicia Masu and Charlois, they drop into the bottom four. But Kortrijk, buoyant. 16th they may be, but nobody's beaten them yet this calendar year. Kortrijk won, Charlois nil. Westerlo with a resounding 4-2 win over Circle Bruges on Wednesday night. Only one loss in seven under new coach Rick DeMille, and most of those have been wins. They've climbed up impressively, but Lavin are on the rise too. Four unbeaten in the league, two wins and two draws. They're coming into form at the right time. A win here would take OHL out of the bottom four and give themselves a massive lift. That was quite the ticker tape reception earlier. Oh, and Maziz trying to get himself cleared up for this corner. Delivery was great, the header was too, and Banzuzi puts Lavin ahead after 77 seconds. A brilliant start for OHL. Sinan Bola wondering about the organisation of the Westlow defence. I think some Lavin fans missed that. They were in too late, a brilliant start, Banzuzi up, and the Dutchman heads home. bit of extra pressure on Wesselo, no doubting that after falling behind so early. Cross was good, so was the header. Brilliant chance to Tour Romans and saved well by Toby Lyson. The Lavin keeper is having a brilliant campaign. Good control by Xing Tien. Chance to get it wide again, across by Richie Sagrado. This is Sieber Scriber, scored midweek. And an assist for a midweek now. Miguel makes it two. Ten minutes played and Lavin are 2 0 up at Westerlo, who scored four against Circle midweek. Lovely cross, and nobody picked up Miguel at the far post. Prospects from Aziz from the free kick and the header from Joran Dom, a real threat. Herbert Lyson has done his job well in goal so far. It's going to fall out to Robbins, pushed over the top by Lyson. Good strike. Robbins sent off the other night. Good save that. 2 0, love and a half time, but the home fans still believe. Always have to keep your colours flying in this game. Cracking ball, long, tight angled effort. Said Manish, just on. The 
Oh, that was too short. Matthew Mertens makes it three. Loving our three nil up at Westerlo. And when you consider one of the best defences around in Circle Bruges conceded four here on Wednesday night. Merton suddenly alive to the chance in his three. Westerlo looking for consolations now, trying to get away back into the game. Good ball in towards the centre. Another good save by Lysa, and it's heading in, it's off the line. Sadamanis denied again the new Iranian. Licence keeping his clean sheet. Got into a very good position. Westerlo have been prolific lately, but not tonight. Lovin survive. Lovin with a resounding 3 0 win. The only other team to beat Westlow lately have been Club Bruges. Five unbeaten. Climb out of the relegation zone. Westlow nil. Lovin three. I've been losing midweek to Charleroi after back-to-back -back wins over RWDM and Royal Antwerp. Another win here would take them out of the relegation zone, but Mechelen have been in great form lately. Only one loss in five and a battling 2-2 draw against second-place Anderlecht midweek. A chance to return to the top half of the table for the Molinewa today. Manier's corner for Eupen. One of their best players this season by a long way. It was a good ball in, a great ball in. And the touch of the near post coming from Filin. Close one. A lot of the early pressure coming from Open. Pantovic's ball didn't get far. Airman's interrupting, and now the break is on. And it's a good looking break, too. Fluka, he's got plenty of support down the middle. It's fallen for Lava back here. Lava back on the way, and it's scrambled away in front of goal by Van Genechten. Came very early. Did Slanina. Just couldn't get the finish. Lava back. Decent challenge, chance to get Keita away. Movald who had won it. And on the turn, it's open up here for Patovic, deflected. Gaitun Cook was committed. He wouldn't have been able to save that. And it almost ended up into a half empty net. So close. Nil nil at half time. Both sets of fans are getting used to this. Crowds are quite a bit down at open today. It's a Sunday afternoon. Suddenly it's open up very invitingly. This could be a big chance here. Kaita in there. Guyton Cook collecting tight angle. Good stop that. Open have been attacking a tremendous amount. Mecklen played on Thursday night. They're under pressure again. Kaita in the middle and Manje. Another close run thing, Kaito Cook having another good game. And Mechelen really need him to. I've been pressing so much. For most clubs, it's the longest trip of the season. Mechelen holding the road, nil-nil. Dan Fulon. Fulon, let fly! That is a brilliant goal by Dan Fulon! Only his second since coming from Benevento, his second in four games. A vicious effort. Mecklen ahead, midway through the second half. I've been sending plenty up. They need to at this stage. Chance for Nuhu. Great opportunity in front of goal. Coming off the bench. Today, he's among the highest scorers, and that's another good save by Cook. Four wins in six for Mecklen, and the return to eighth spot at the table, only two places off the title playoffs. A remarkable rise under Besnik Hasi after falling into the bottom four previously. After two slender 1 0 wins, now two 1 0 defeats for Open. Open nil, Mecklen won. Seventh hosting eighth with a lot attached. Centrone and goalkeeping coach Dennis Rudel is here tonight after collapsing in the dressing room ahead of last week's derby against Genk. Circle would break into the title playoffs if they win, but have only two points from the last four games. The Canaries 4-1 winners over Kent midweek have lost only once in five. That against Union. They go seventh above Circle if they get the victory. 
Good break for St. Troden straight away. Played wide, good chance for Eric Boca. Wallison cutting the angle. High in the clean sheets chart, good save that. Good early attacking from St. Troden. No free kick there, Ito going down. Summers with a challenge. He's got plenty ahead of him. Here goes Alan Minden down the right-hand side. And Denke's there! Kevin Denke does it again. Out to now top scorer in the league again. 17 in the season for Denke. Minda lots of pace. And the man you would want in the middle was right there waiting. Denke does it again. And circular lead. Putting good pressure on as well, our circular. They've been disappointing of late. Le Marichal, so close to two before the half-hour mark. Excellent break by Felix Le Marichal and almost in. Lopez and Minda, Denki. This is brilliant, Denki shot. Saved by Joe Coppins. They've had plenty up for the free kick. Utkus across and it's in. Alan Minder makes it two. Three minutes before half time. And Cercle Bruges are well on their way. Simple little tap home for Minder. An assist for the first, and now he scores the second. They didn't pick him up. Cracking ball forward. Sahara Leslam. All the way across Yamamoto. Fine save by Wallison. Very good stop. He scored quite a few lately, the American, but provider this time. Two up at half time. Circler taking it on really well. Great charge this by Alan Minda. Denki force wide. The angle didn't matter at all. Two for Denki, three for Circler. And that should be that. Eight minutes into the second half. It's 18 goals of the season now for Kevin Denke. Leading the scoring charts. Leading the race for the Golden Ball. And Sackler are now leading the race for sixth place. Fine finish. The Canary is so good midweek. Hitting Ghent for four. But now they've conceded for themselves. It's a leg bay. A tremendous finish, and Cercle Bruges score for themselves against St. Rodin. A lovely goal by Casim Alegbe. Cercle look as if right now they could score as many goals as they like, and they're in again here. Brilliant chance, Matara made his way through. Just held up, final effort sliced wide. They've been waiting for a chance like this a long time. Good break, Agawa, and that will be one back. It's Giuselfo Barnes in the sixth minute of stoppage time. And St. Jordan have their consolation and something minor to celebrate at least. Stolen well to touch home, too little too late. A significant win for Cercle Bruges, defending their turf in the most emphatic manner. Cercle finished sixth last season, they go sixth now, and that would mean the title playoffs if they stay there. St. Tronin fall to ninth, a serious blow to their hopes of a high finish. Cercle Bruges four, St. Tronin one. Cercle are the biggest scorers of the weekend, and that will have a major impact on the table. Standard Liège coming back to draw it, or WDM, to avoid falling into the bottom four. Kortrijk and Lovin's victory is very significant at the bottom as well, as was Eupen's defeat to Mechelen, the only side in the relegation zone to lose this weekend. Union's 1-0 win at Genk means they're now 18 unbeaten in the league, the longest run since returning to the top flight. Antwerp leaving it late against Club Bruges, just as they did last season, and Adelaide with their narrow win over Ghent, sees their position strengthened. 
Union booked their place in the title playoffs midweek. 10 points clear of Anderlecht, 17 ahead of Club Bruges, with Antwerp now drawing level. Remember, the points total is halved going into those playoffs. With Ghent and Genk losing, a big battle on for the remaining spots. Ghent dropped to fifth. Circle Bruges leap into the top six for the first time since Christmas week. Genk dropped to seventh, with Mecklen back up to eighth and St. Troden in the hunt as well. At the bottom, Kortrijk are now four unbeaten under Freire Alexanderson, but still remain in last place. Their win over Charlowa sends the Zebras back into the bottom four. Eipen were out of the relegation zone for a week, but have now lost two in a row. Or WDM picked up their first point in six games. Leuven, in contrast, are unbeaten in five, and five places from the bottom. Week 25 kicks off with Friday night football, important for the title and relegation playoffs. St. Troden hosting Kortrijk. On Saturday, Standard Liège against Leuven, another big relegation six-pointer. Leaders Union host Westerlo, club in third, entertain Eupen. Six of the top eight play Sunday, fourth-placed Antwerp at WDM. Seventh and eighth meeting as Mechelen host Genk. Second-placed Anderlecht at Charleroi. And as fifth against sixth, Ghent host Resurgent Circle. Until then, from Will Downing and the Pro League team in Brussels, enjoy your football.